Welcome to, let me just move the mic out of the way, the Student Hub, the Student Hub class is for Standard 5, Standard 4, Standard 5 students, SME students. Um, you want to do some additional revision work coupled with all the other sessions that you have access to. So let's just jump into it. What is the place value of the underlying digit? Well, there isn't any digits on the screen. So let me see if I can um, actually write a number here. So let's see, four, one, three, two, and then I'm going to underline one of them. Which one do you think I should underline? Maybe, maybe, maybe this one. How many of you all know I was going to underline that one? All right, so what's the place value of the underlying digit? Now, the digits talk about each individual number, the one, two, three, four, A actually, put one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four in, in order here. Um, well, not in order, but one, two, three, four. Anyhow. Let's not get distracted. What is the place value of the underlying digit? This is the ones column, and we know that because we know that. This is the tens column, and this is the thousands column. No, 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 hundreds column. Just check in, just check in. Hundreds column. This guy here is the thousands column. So what do we write? The answer that you actually have to write is hundreds. Let me take this same setup. I'm trying to copy it. Uh, I'm keeping that in my back pocket and I'll read the next question. This looks like the same question from before, but it isn't. What word is different? What's your first question? This is the first question. And this is the second question. What's different? What's different? This is the first question. And this is the second question. First question has this word place in it. The second question does not. What is the value of the underlying digit? So let me take the thing back out my back pocket now and put it here. Pow! So what's the value of that underlying digit? Um, it's actually, I, I can't put hundreds again. Last time I just put hundreds, I need to put 100. So I need to specify that it's one of these. For example, if I change this to, if I change that one, oh gosh, I'll let you come in it now. And if I change that one to nine earlier, and I change it to nine in the first question. So this is question one. So if I change it to nine in the first question, nothing happens to my answer. It's still in the hundreds place value. So the place value of the underlying digit nine there is hundreds. But if I change it to nine in the second question, it changes the answer. Instead of one, I will have to put not 100. It has now become 900. Nod your head like this if you're understanding. I'll probably turn to your neighbor and say, this man talking sense, this man. <laughs> you're understanding, you're understanding. Because this is a question that comes in the exam nearly every single year. So you need to be ready for it. So let me ask you a next one. What is the place value of the underlying digit? I'm just making up some numbers here. Excuse me. What is the place value of that guy over there? Well, you know, ones, two, no, no, no. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. This is tens of thousands. Why well, I keep underlining the ones by anyhow. The place value is tens of thousands. What is the value of the underlying digit? Uh, well, if, if I write another one, nine, five, three, one, two, six. Which one do you think I'm going to underline? The one end? No, I'm not going to underline the one. Let me underline the nine. What's the place value of the nine? There's no word place here. It's missing the word place. It's just value. So what is the value of the underlying digit? It's actually nine hundred thousand. Now, if you forget how place values and things work, go back and check it. Eh? Go back and check it. As you're going back and check it too, you should have seen some stuff on expanding notation. Do you know how to expand notate? <laughs> Do you know how to ex do write in expanding notation? Well, it would be 545. Five. If you want to write that in expanding notation, we might just put 545 five and space it out like this. Expanded notation. Catch it. All right, maybe not, maybe not. All right, obviously that's not expanding notation. I right? just expanded. So five times 100, you multiply the individual digits by the place value. What's the place value of the four? It's 10. So four times 10 and five times one. This is one of the questions that most people get correct. Everybody gets this question correct. Six times 1,000 plus one times 100, this is 6,192. So the nine is nine ten. so you put nine by 10, plus one 
plus two by one. Just double check that in me. This is the only way people really lose marks on this. Like they make a mistake and put multiply here when they should put add or some kind of thing. So just double check everything making sense. Everything making sense? Sense. Like, and of course, you need to learn how to go in reverse. So we went from the numeral to the expanding notation. We need to go from the expanding notation into the numeral. Is, is this two different questions? This handwriting is the best thing ever, boy. So we have 1 by 1,000, 2 by 10, plus 7 by 1. So 1 by 1,000, 2 by 10, where's the hundreds? So since we see no hundreds, let's just put a 0. Is that how it works? Yes. 2, 7. So 1 by 1,000, 2 by 10, 7. All right, all right. What about this one? We'll have 4. Is that a million? Usually, they don't give you numbers above a million, but okay, since this question is being extra, four by a million, where's the, after a million is the hundreds of thousands. I'm not seeing any hundreds of thousands, I'm seeing tens of thousands. So put a zero for that, then one tens of thousands, then maybe six thousand, and then four hundreds. Are you following with me? Are you following? Now we're going to the eight, and then eight one, so put an eight there. And maybe I'll just make a little space to, between the, the numbers like this so you could kind of read it properly. All right, maybe that space was too much. So now this reads properly, clearly, as 4,016,488. Fantastic. Which of the eights in the number below carry the most value? So once again, we have no number below. We come into end in this video here. Let me just make a number for you. Oh my, I managed to put three eights in this number. Are you seeing the three eights? There's an eight there. There's an eight here. And there's an eight over here. So we see all those eights. Which one of them has the most value? Obviously, this 800,000 is the eight with the most um, value. They didn't indicate normally they want you to underline it. Because numbers that go further this direction carry the most value and that's where we'll end today's class. Remember to check over here, we can do your assignments and your teacher will see you in the live class. Love and blessings. Hope you enjoy it.